everybody um, I'm, this video is going to be a brief uh, uh, demo on how one could create badges uh, for open worm uh, with the batch list tool um, the uh, I'll just give a brief motivation for badges it's a form of uh, digital credentials it's typically used in uh, ed educational context uh, we in OpenWorm are using it to recognize not just learning by uh, our, our volunteers and members but also contributions. So a person seeking to earn a badge uh, under badge list uh, is referred to as a learner um, and a, a person who has already earned a badge uh, created a badge can, uh, is referred to as an expert. So the idea here is to provide a uh, transparent method for awarding recognition of credentials uh, via publicly uh, visible presentation of evidence by the learner and expert feedback on that evidence. So for example, uh, if I look at the uh, Hodgkin, Hodgkin Huxley uh, tutorial graduate badge, uh, you will see that uh, various learners like myself uh, would have uh, provided evidence for attempting to learn this badge uh, and I would have also received feedback uh, in this case <laughs> because I created the badge uh, it's automatically done uh, but in, in the regular case, so with another individual's um, uh, badge, uh, you would see that I have given feedback and uh, in this case it looks good and there was not much to comment on. Uh, so uh, we can get started on this demo. Um, the first thing that um, you you need to have is authority to create a new badge, which I do. So uh, I'm just going to get started. And in this particular demo, I'm actually going to create an, an actual badge for Open Worm. Uh, the motivation in this case uh, is to recognize a volunteer contribution. Uh, efforts and so OpenWorm actually has a, a small collection of uh, relatively uh, simple tasks on GitHub uh, called beginner issues so here's an example of that so this new badge will, will attempt to recognize volunteer efforts in taking up and completing beginner tasks so uh, right and and so if you look at one of our waffle boards uh, you will see that we have a beginner issue right here and so i'm just going to create a badge that would direct uh, uh volunteers to go look for beginner badges uh sorry beginner uh, issues uh and then attempt to complete it as part of the uh, uh contract to earn a badge for set purpose so let's get back to badge list and so we want to create a new badge so first thing we do we give it a name say i want to call it code warrior beginner issues and describe what the badge is for and explain what it, uh, what the badge earner would have accomplished on completing this task. So I want to say earning this badge involves picking any open worm beginner issue on GitHub and complete it right and then you can create the batch image uh, you can use their tool or you can actually upload one of your own image files that's you might have observed from the uh, list of badges that we have on open worm 
uh, you can actually upload something of your own so I'm gonna choose something oh sheer light since you're talking about code warriors uh, I'm gonna put a fist then I'm gonna change the foreground color to black and uh, make it green so it looks like it's something easy and early for beginners alright so once you've done these basic early steps uh, you can go ahead and um, add requirements and these would represent uh, instructions to the learners uh, what they have to do in order to earn this badge and so I will make this into a two-step uh, the first step being um, basically getting assigned to a beginner issue and you describe in the summary all the steps that the learner has to take in order to get uh, this done and so I'm going to do that I'm gonna find a beginner issue on open worms github repositories a good place to find them is on our waffle ball and I provide a link uh, https waffle.io oh. open worm open worm uh, give it a little test before I do this just to make sure it works and indeed it does okay so I'm gonna say uh, these are tag beginner on the ideas backlog uh, or ready columns request for assignment or in some cases assign yourself take a screenshot and in this case the evidence is uh, requesting for a screenshot from the learner and so we say that the uh, evidence format should be that of an image so evidence visibility make it public to everyone uh, so anyone can see this evidence uh, that if it's complete and it's presented uh, it's out there in the open for people to verify so now I'm going to add a second requirement and that is uh, completing the issue right. and so the instructions are relatively simple in this case we want him we want uh, the learner to take a screenshot of the issue from waffle or github as closed with comments uh, on completion by someone else from the team so this is a way of basically <laughs> uh, preventing a learner from simply just taking a beginner issue and saying I completed it without actually completing it say uh, who knows <laughs> so this is a screenshot and so uh, the format again is an image and it's public to everyone so now we are actually ready to create the batch so let's go ahead and do that we'll create the batch and there we go the batch is now created out here beginner issues code warrior 
uh, and uh, you can do other stuff to this badge uh, that uh, you can actually tag it so uh, we're not going to do that in this demo but uh, yeah this is just the basic way of how you would go about creating a, a new badge for openworm uh, on batchless uh, thank you for your time and um, have a good one